Marina for years has been haunted by the fact that was she to some degree responsible. But I think what Oswald saw was that if he committed the crime, if he assassinated Kennedy and got away with it, then he would have an inner power that no one could ever come near. And if he was caught, well, then he was quite articulate. He would have one of the greatest trials in America's history, if not the greatest. And he would explain all his political ideas. And he would become world famous and might have an immense effect upon history, even if he was executed. So there he was. He knew that he had this opportunity, that Kennedy was going to drive by the Texas Book Depository. One can only imagine the, uh, the terror and the excitement and the inspiration and the woe that sat on him with the knowledge that he could do it, it was possible to do it. That there were conspiracies being contemplated, attempted, even attempted on that day, I'm perfectly willing to accept. But the conclusions I came to were, for me, rational ones. Because he had a motive for doing it, because he was capable of doing it, because he wanted to do it. When he shot Tippett, I think at that point he knew he was doomed because he could no longer make the great speech. But if you shoot a policeman, forget it. You're a punk. And so after he was caught, he did nothing but protest his innocence and say, I'm a patsy. Oswald is a ghost who sits there and found, um, American life. It's a ghost that lay over uh, a great many discussions of what are some of the real roots of American history. What's abominable and maddening about ghosts is you never know the answer. Is it this or is it that? You can't know because the ghost doesn't tell you.